Bright Tate is quietly closing down its East Haven Pharmacy and several others nationally. Reports indicate that the company is considering a Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing to relieve its debt burden and stay operational. Rite Aid, headquartered in Philadelphia, suffered a substantial loss of $307 million in its recent quarter, while its long-term debt stands at $3.3 billion. The company's CFO, Matt Schroeder, expressed a commitment to improving performance and ensuring long-term growth. The closure of Yeast Haven Pharmacy is part of a series of closures of underperforming stores. Rite Aid has been gradually shutting down poorly performing pharmacies, with more than two dozen closures between March and May, and a total of 145 closures last year. The company evaluates various factors before making closure decisions, including business strategy, lease considerations, local conditions, and store performance. Rite Aid aims to transfer prescriptions and employees to nearby location to minimize service disruptions. Rite Aid faces challenges beyond financial difficulties, as it is under investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice regarding its prescription practices for opioid drugs. The company is among the numerous entities being scrutinized in relation to the opioid crisis. Despite these challenges, Rite Aid is working on strategies to address its capital structure and regain profitability while maintaining a presence in communities and serving its customers.